your son Henry, yeah. who passed away in 2018. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he was a, a very sweet, mischievous, funny boy. He was the third. We had three boys in a row, you know, two years in between them, sometimes not quite. Any powers you want to tell us about? Any, uh... No, I, I don't have one. Um, I just saw the ad. No superpowers at all? Uh, I have both type one and two diabetes. So folks, Rob Delaney, who played Peter in Deadpool 2 and Deadpool and Wolverine. That's fucking Peter! <laughs> And yeah, the sidekick apparently is more popular than the main character himself. Wait, you, you guys know Peter? Are you kidding me? Every Deadpool has a Peter. She, Peter's a goddamn legend. Peter is just, you. it's hard not to like Peter. But unfortunately, Rob Delaney's son, Henry, died from a brain tumor in February of 2018 at the age of two years old, just a few months before the release of Deadpool 2. He was very lovely and we just were all gravitated towards him. He had surgery once they found the brain tumor and that disabled him quite seriously. Mm -hmm. about 14 months in hospital and then seven additional months at home and then his tumor returned and he died. It's been terrible and painful, you know, but there's been a lot of love weaved into it too. And the comedian, actor, writer wrote a memoir in honor of his son titled A Heart That Works, becoming a New York Times bestseller. And well, during the movie, you might've noticed that it was dedicated for Henry Delaney. I love Peter. That's probably one of my favorite characters from the film. And well, Ryan Reynolds writes this heartfelt post on his Instagram, giving tribute to Robert Delaney and his son, Henry, who passed away saying, Rob Delaney brought Deadpool into our heart and effortlessly redefine the modern moose knuckle, showing it can be chic and practical. And if theories are correct, he may be the new anchor being. There's more to Rob Delaney than some realize. He's one of the most subversively funny people I know. He's a beautiful, acerbic and vulnerable writer. If you stayed through the credits of Deadpool and Wolverine, you might notice a credit saying, for Henry Delaney, Henry is Rob's son. And Rob lost his little boy to a brain tumor in 2018, right as we finished Deadpool 2. I've always kicked my own ass because I didn't place a tribute to Henry over the end credits of Deadpool 2. If there's a bright side, even more people are seeing Henry's name in the credits of Deadpool and Wolverine. And at long last, father and son are sharing the same screen. Rob has a vivid perspective on unimaginable grief, and he takes an unfiltered, rageful, loving, sad, and hilarious, yes, hilarious, look at grief through his book, A Heart That Works. It's an incredible piece of writing which explores a kaleidoscopic colors of emotion Henry's passing revealed. I'm lucky to know Rob, and I'm lucky to have friends willing to put themselves on the line to make others feel less alone. Woo! Uh, that is a pretty heartfelt statement by Ryan. You gotta give props to Ryan. He's really been praising every single cast member he can on his Instagram. And obviously it's not easy to lose a son. My heart goes out to Rob. Rob played an incredible role in the Deadpool series. Sugar Bear, you got this buddy. That's the stuff, that's the X4 spirit. And yeah, Delaney's return to the new Deadpool film was just a little extra spice on top. But yeah, rest in peace to Henry Delaney. Let me know what you guys think about the story in those comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and you guys know the drill. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>